It was the deadliest morning of the 26th of April, 1986, when the disaster of Chernobyl took place. It is now a very well-documented incident, although the Soviet Union was trying to keep the secrecy of its efforts in the Cold War era. The disaster occurred when the safety test of the Soviet Union went wrong, hence leading to a great explosion. This blast blew up the part of reactor number 4, causing a big fire that continued for more than a week. This resulted in a giant cloud of radiation that was released into the air, first spreading all across the local area of the explosion and finally covering a big area of Europe as well. Belarus country of Europe also got affected by the 70% of the total radiations released by the explosion. The total estimated amount of radioactive material in Chernobyl was around 400 times greater than the nuclear atom bomb dropped by the USA on Hiroshima. Let's have a look at the effects of the Chernobyl disaster on human lives. As the incident happened, around 31 people died on the spot as an immediate outcome of the accident and severe radiation exposure. The emergency health workers came forward and showed an enormous amount of courage in dealing with the abrupt aftermath of the disaster. Around thousands of people came together, working to decontaminate the explosion area, following the months and years after the incident. Many people also sacrificed their lives, however, since the death due to radiation is so silent, it is difficult to calculate the total death toll. According to the World Health Organization, 4,000 people are estimated to suffer and eventually die, following the consequences of the accident, which include cancers and radiation poisoning. To curb the situation, there is a 30-kilometer exclusion zone formed by the government, forcing the evacuation of thousands of people from the area. Most of these people have never been able to return to their homes. Tens and hundreds of towns and villages are now left completely crumbled and abandoned. Now let's move on to how the incident affected nature. The effect of the nuclear disaster on the local environment was almost catastrophic. A woodland present nearby the explosion area now is known as the Red Forest. The name indicates the rust-colored needles that continuously drop from the dead pine trees. Chernobyl is still recognized as the second most radioactive place on Earth after Fukushima, Japan. The animals and plants in the area have suffered several mutations, they have seen to show stunted growth and certain behavioral anomalies. What are the measures taken to cope with the harmful effects of the explosion? After the explosion took place, the damaged reactor was first of all covered with a gigantic concrete sarcophagus. The goal was to stop more radioactive material from escaping and releasing into the atmosphere. However, in 2016, a new safe containment shield was created and placed over the land. It is recognized as the largest movable steel structure which has ever been built. It works as a great hangar covering the entire nuclear power plant. Even under its premises, workers are still trying and workings to keep the site safe. They continuously monitor the radiations and they also have plans to decommission the concrete sarcophagus. The ultimate goal is to remove nuclear fuel completely. Talking about the tourism in the destructed area. Every year, there are thousands of tourists who come to visit and catch sight of the haunting ruins of the abandoned towns of Chernobyl. The tourists have even returned. Although they can visit the area, they are still kept out of the most dangerously radioactive sites. What is the condition of the recovery of area? The country relies on the production of power through nuclear power plants. So, for this Puppos, it has created a new power plant just opposite to the old nuclear site, which has started generating clean power. The country is now also relying on solar energy, which produces enough electricity to power 2,000 apartments. These new projects are seen more as a symbol of good economics. The people of the area also signalize it as a sign of recovery and new growth. This recovery is, however, most evident in the natural world. It is not false that the animals and the plants inside the exclusion zone still show some hazardous effects of radiation. However, for them, life is just about finding a way to adapt. Looking at the examples, the frogs which inhabit inside the exclusion zone are much darker than those outside. This dark color helps them survive by giving extra protection against radiation. It would not be wrong to say that the parts of the exclusion zone have now become a haven for biodiversity. 
The researchers have seen beautiful brown bears, lynxes, European bison, boar, and Perwalski's horses in big growing numbers. It is a surprising effect of forcing people out from the area that has led to the creation of a wildlife sanctuary, where the species can live independently and untouched by human activity. The conclusion drawn by the incident is two. Firstly, it can be seen that animals and plants are more resilient to radiation than the human body is. And secondly, although the effects of the world's worst nuclear disaster are catastrophic for humans, they are still less damaging to the natural world because of the absence of people. Whether if it is a lesson of hope or a warning about our everyday impact on the planet is up to you to decide. If you like the video, give us a thumb up. Comment below your thoughts on the video. Share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe InfoSplash for more informational videos.